y'all welcome back to the couch i'm your host shannon and this is motherhood moments because this is the place where moms get real about every moment in motherhood because we know that every moment in motherhood ain't pretty so y'all today i want to talk about a couple of things the first thing is the truth like can we talk about the truth today because there's something there was a phrase that got put on my heart and i just want to share it if you give me a second have you ever heard of the word parental integrity I heard that in the spirit and I was like, oh, what's that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means, Jesus. Right? Parental integrity. We talk about, a lot of times in church, we talk about having integrity, right? Being honest, being a truthful person. And people give examples of don't take the pins from, from your job. Yeah, I be taking pins all the time and I put the back because I be feeling guilty. Like I just, I put pins in my hair on busy days. Like I stick them in my hair because I usually wear buns at work and I just forget to take them out. Right, But we talk about things like that at your job, not stealing time, not stealing supplies, right? Integrity, doing things well in your business. Even in church, handling the money right, handling the God's people right. But a lot of times, y'all, we are taught how to do faith, but we're not really taught how to do family. And so today I want to talk about parental integrity. What does that mean? That means it's like, if there was a TV camera in your house, would you be embarrassed by how you act? Is there integrity? Another word for be would be consistency with how you show up. If we could be honest, a lot of us show up differently outside of home than we do at home because at home is where your filters are off. It's where you don't get a break. It's where you go when you're tired and where you're triggered for me. I've learned along the way that one of my triggers is tired, like being tired, like when I'm sleepy. Not like I'm exhausted, like I'm just tired, right? And when I'm tired, my tolerance is like, shoom, right? Like if I can keep it 100, keep it funky, like that's what we do here. And so with knowing that, in order for me to have parental integrity, and not even just to be proud of myself, but to say, okay, I want to be an honest person all the way around, including in my parenting, I have to put some safeguards in place. So that means my kids gotta go to bed at a certain time because after a certain time, sure you're gonna get a little bit irritable more than I need to be. And the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit gonna really have to step in to help a girl out and to help them kids and to help the whole group, right? Parental integrity means being honest with yourself about your triggers. I don't like repeating myself. A whole rack of times like you're gonna get a strong one or two by number three i'm gonna be a little irritated right that also comes from my culture i'm black so you hear that a lot in black culture don't make me repeat myself right that's just kind of like ingrained in us it doesn't make it right doesn't make it wrong that's your business i don't care but what i am saying is that's a trigger for me because it makes me feel disrespected it makes me feel unheard and being unheard is a trigger for myself as a person so when I'm talking about parental integrity, one thing that we can do is go to God and ask for help to do our work. So my work was facing like, yes, I am a good mom, straight up, but I'm still a person and I still have triggers. When you mix my triggers with my kids' triggers and my honey's triggers and like, child, it's just like World War Three up in this mug, right? So I have to seek God one first and thing in the morning so that I can walk in the spirit. Because in order to, for me to be spiritually sound, in order for me to be spiritually well and to be spiritually sensitive, I gotta spend time with my father. And there is a complete difference when I don't, right? So to have parental integrity, what's one step? Spend time with God so he can just love on you. So you can be in the spirit, in the mind of the spirit. So you can walk with the mind of Christ, right? And then two, do your work. So that means take a second and like identify where we all have those places at moms where it's like we did something and then it's like, oh, like, I don't like that. I should have done that. Like, oh, that don't feel good. I feel kind of bad. Like, ooh. Those are the places where we need to sit in it for a second and say, okay, what the heck just happened? Like, I'm tripping. I was just fine. And now I'm not. Like, it don't have to be long work. But we just got to start to do the work. The Bible says that the Lord rejoices to see the work begin, right? It says, doesn't rule. It says, don't rule your day of small beginnings. 
So that means it doesn't have to be this big, crazy, great thing. But when you spend time with God and you take time to do your work, to see your triggers, and you make a commitment to yourself, and watch this, you ask for help. Instead of me trying to do everything for my husband and for my kids, I can't. There was a season where I had to because them junkers was little, 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 little. But now them junkers five and eight. So uh, y'all going to need to clean your own room. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So every Saturday or every Sunday, one of them days, it's a whole cleanup day. Right? And it's to help because I need help. They're getting bigger, so they're moving more. When I go to, y'all know how it is. You go to clean up one room. This is the living room I'm in right now. You go to clean up a room. You go upstairs. You come back, and the living room was destroyed. That just happened to me like 10 minutes ago. I was in the kitchen preparing lunch for the family. The house was clean. I came back in. My pillows was all on the floor. There was markers and little games all over. I was like, I don't know what just happened. What just happened? Like, it's a real thing in motherhood. So... I'm not cleaning it up. We're going to have a family meeting real quick. But that's to help me have parental integrity. I can't be talking about Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. I can't. I'm not going to be that mom that goes to church and worships God. And my kid is looking at me like, you just fuss and cuss me out. Who's looking at me like, you just whoop me. Who's looking at me like, you was just going crazy in the car. You were just going crazy on me last night. I don't want to be that person. Like, what about you? I want to have integrity in how I parent. Now, does parental integrity mean perfection? No. But it means integrity. It means doing the right thing. So when you're wrong, be wrong and say, I'm sorry. Right? But when you're working on yourself, be honest. Let your kids know, you know what? This is a place that I struggle in. And I'm asking God to help me. That way, when they see your change, they know to credit it to Holy Spirit. And ask them. It's okay to ask for help. Y'all, if you see mommy tripping, let me know. Remind me of my goal. They like to be helpers, whether they're little or big. Remind me of my goal. We can even have a keyword, right? If mommy is tripping, you could say like apples, right? You could say jump rope. And it'll be a cue in your brain as moms to say, oh, yeah, I need to go separate myself because I'm tripping. Because we want our kids to grow up with integrity. We want our kids to grow up knowing God and knowing that we don't have to be perfect as Christians. But we need to ask for help from God. And God will send him his spirit. He will send his word. He will send angels. He will send people to help you reach your goal. But let's make sure this week we have parental integrity. And if you don't know where to start, your prayer corner or your prayer spot is a good space to just sit with God and let him walk with you and work with you through the places that are hard because motherhood is beautiful, but it can also be hard. So y'all, that's this week in motherhood moments. I'll see you next week. Thank you for hanging with me on the couch.